Yeah. I was just wondering, when that's, when, when's that Black Ops 3 review? I, I don't know, man. I just finished recording footage for it. Like, but what do you expect? Do you think I'm a video-making machine or something? Like, okay. Uh, uh, I'll be out next week, okay? I, I, yeah, I, I, I hear you, but, like, can we have it now? Yeah, okay, yeah, sure, man, whatever, 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 just, just, just go, I'll do the video, okay? Jesus, like, fuck, dude. Guess, start making You all knew it was coming, or I guess you didn't, considering that the Wolfenstein video has no views yet. But... But hey, you're watching this one, right? So, at least I'm doing something, right? Anyways, let's start this off with the story, which is... Oh my. Uh, oh. Uh, what is happening? <sighs> I'm do. I'll do my best to summarize the story for you. So, we start off with our player character in the middle of a mission, I guess. As we try to rescue the minister of something, honestly, they just keep calling them the minister for no reason. I, I, he, he's the minister of what? <laughs> With our friend Hendrix here. We go through an NRC base, I think. I can't remember this. Um, you then rescue the minister, but he insists that we also save his commander Khalil because he's courageous and whatnot so we go do that then after a few shooting galleries we meet john taylor apparently hendrix knows taylor or or hendrix then decides to ask taylor about his personal life while our enemy's bodies that are still freshly warm are laying all around us anyways so then after that a few more shooting galleries after Later, we run into robots, which we have to avoid. Anyways, Hendrix and the others evac, evac out of there, and it seems like we will too until a robot stops us. That robot then proceeds to rip your arms off, which the scene is pretty gruesome. It uses violence as a consequence and furthers the plot. That's the only compliment I'm giving this game, though, other than a few more. Anyways, it seems like we're going to die until Taylor shows up and rescues us. Then we undergo surgery to get a DNI implanted into us. The DNI system is also what Black Ops 3 is based on. Anyways, how the DNI system works is that it acts as a pretty, basically a direct neural link between your brain and technology. So then... Uh, skipping a few plot details here, you and Hendrix find that tail find out that Taylor and his team killed these government CIA agents for some reason. It's never, it's it is explained why he killed these people. It's just the dumbest way they could have done it. So then, pretty much the rest of the game sees you and Hendrix tracking down Taylor and his team. And by tracking down, I really mean killing Taylor and his team. Anyways, so apparently there's this virus thing named Corvus infecting people's DNIs and apparently that's why Taylor killed all those people and it's also infected Hendrix and you and then you kill Hendrix and then you kill yourself and uh, yeah I'm just gonna jump straight to the twist of the game because nothing else really matters so after undergoing the DNI surgery you die shortly after <clears throat> to quote the act man himself, Where was this revealed, you might ask? At the end of the game? Haha, <laughs> no. It was revealed in the fast-moving text at the beginning of the game, which is a report sent in by John Taylor. Meaning, in order to understand the plot of Black Ops 3, you either have to look up an explanation video or read the wiki. When you have to look up a game story, it really tells you that the game did a pretty piss-poor job at telling you its story. 
Now I'm going to give Cherry Arc some credit. The ideas and concepts here are really good. It's just the shitty execution of those ideas and concepts that make the story of Black Ops 3 seem really jumbled and confused with itself. Moving on to the characters, we have our player character. So what serial killer are we taking control of this time? Oh wait, what? Yeah, so apparently... Our, our character's name is Player. Hmm. Okay. So Player is really unreliable. Not to mention that his voice actor gives him the weirdest voice I've ever heard. Nothing against the voice actor himself, but I really can't explain it myself, so take a listen. Anyway. Besides, he's a fucking terrorist. I would go over the other characters, but they're just really forgettable. The only halfway decent character is Hendrix, because at times I felt like he was maybe the person that was there with me. But he's still not all that great. Overall, the story and characters are forgettable and generic at best. So how's the gameplay? Well... Uh, <laughs> just kidding with you. Well, BO3 has my third favorite gameplay in the series. Not sure if that's just because BO3 was the first Call of Duty game I ever played, but... I don't know. Maybe, maybe there's, there's no bias there. Anyways. <clears throat> also, before each mission in the story, you get to customize your looks and loadouts. Now, I don't know if it was just me, but the guns I used the most were the KN44 and the ICR1. The, these guns were completely maxed out when I finished the game. The only other gun I used kind of regularly was the Havoc, I believe. Also, whatever you do, do not use a shotgun in any of the modes. They barely do any damage at long range, and at close range you'll die faster than you can actually react to anything. There's also your DNI abilities, but I didn't really use them that all that often. Mainly because the game doesn't give you any incentive to use them at all. So, same goes for the advanced movement. You can just play this game like any other COD game in the series. <sighs> for side modes, we first have free one, which is basically a speedrun time-based challenge. Next, we have Dead Ups Arcade 2. It exists. Lastly, we have the zombies, which I don't have any footage, but to give you my brief thoughts on it. I enjoyed it a lot, but that might be because I use the running gun strategy when I play zombies. But I do agree that a zombie mode should encourage all play styles instead of strictly running gun. So overall, how is Black Ops 3? Well, not very good by how this video is going so far. There are very few redeeming qualities. The reason I called this video Wasted Potential is because this game has loads of it but it just doesn't use it in the right ways. Would I recommend this game? If you really, really want to play it, play it. Otherwise, no, I would not recommend this game. Uh, yeah. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you in the next one.